with Angela Yee. Oh, we love to see you here. Kes the band is here. Hey, yes, Kes. Yes, yes. Good to be here. Good to be here. Blessings. I already was talking to you about how you sold out Central Park Summer Stage in four days. But wow. I was like, you're here because I'm trying to go. So <laughs> <laughs> Easy, easy. Yeah, no, that was amazing. I, I'm not going to lie. Big love to all the people who coming out. I'm, I'm looking forward. That's history, mm -hmm. you know, in a lot of ways. So I'm looking forward. You've been creating a lot of history in a lot of ways. How does that feel? I mean, you have, I was reading that you have the most streamed soca song of the last decade. Wow. With Hello. Wow. Which you yeah. didn't know that? No, well, I knew and I just. <laughs> it sounds good. Though. It sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? It's, it's, it's a really exciting time, I think, for the genre. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, people are having access to the music from around the world. So you, you get a whole whole different li uh, listenership. Everybody is, you know, into soca in a different way now. And mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, we're at that time, you know, where you can do different things. Like, you know, we play in Central Park. Like, to really hear it in Central Park is going to be amazing, you know. Just looking forward. What are the different types of soca for people who are listening? Because... Um, just, you know, they're just different, I guess, speeds and feels. Um, but they're two main, the mm -hmm. power and the groovy. So okay. power is more, you know, the high energy, what everybody knows. The groovy is more of, you know, the slower BPMs, you mm -hmm. know, that. I kind of tend to do a lot of more of the slower BPM styles because I feel like it, it's easy to connect to other genres, like the Afrobeat and, and uh, reggaeton. And each of us are all, uh, all in a, a similar family. You know, everybody's together as one in some form, you know. That's definitely one of uh, one of the things that you always strive to do is bring together all the different types of music in the Caribbean, also the Afro beats. Yeah. So let's talk about the new album. Yes. Man With No Door. Yes, Man um, With No Door. And we've we've had a chance to hear some of the songs before the album came out. Of course, uh, Licky Tiki featuring Jay Perry. Yes. You see that video. Yes. You know, as well. So... Uh, talk to me about some of these other collabs because they gave me a little preview. Um, and so we do hear some Afro, pe Afro beats, yeah. maybe a little compa. The small, small compa, definitely the Haitian family is, is big in it. Michael Brun and Jay Perry is, mm -hmm. is there as um, representing Haiti. Um, and yeah, of course, some dance hall. Yeah, dance hall, you must have dance hall. I ain't gonna you know? lie, the song with Busy Signal, yes, Honeycomb. Honeycomb. That's a fun song. Vibe, you know, and you know, that's right it. I mean, for us, uh, Queen for us, Omega from Trinidad, Queen, also. Queen Omega, gotta represent up, the, your hometown. Definitely, you know, and she's mm -hmm. she's just a world force, you know, it's an honor to do that track with her. You know, it's it's um, as the, as the title says, Man with No Door is really a, a creative free space, you know. I really wanted to create just a little beyond soca and more you know just a little beyond the, the, the mm -hmm. soca realm and just play with the vibes that i grew up to you know the stuff that i loved i had loved you know dance all in the 90s and you know reggae and i love afrobeat i love reggaeton mm -hmm. pop and rock and r&b and all of that and i think i think all mm -hmm. of it is, is is felt in this entire body of work you know and shaggy's so, on the album shaggy's on it yes definitely <laughs> busy signal big up queen omega it's a it's a lovely family a lovely sound family and i think um the album is a, is a great introduction to you know just what i'm going to be exploring in the future as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i always hear people talking about soca to the world and you did essence festival yes. by the way we got to talk about that a little yes. bit just you being there in that space that i think amazing. was amazing yes that was really a, a, a blessed time you know big up to essence for really bringing mm -hmm. us and representing it wasn't just myself it was me and marshall as well too Ooh. so like having two soca acts yeah on the same night i think that was just amazing you know, to do that. Because there's a lot of people, again, discovering the genre, discovering mm -hmm. the music. So, for me, the interesting times is to really hit those new territories and those places where people see you for the first time. You have to, you know, teach them from scratch, you know. <laughs> I love that. That's the work, you know. And um, I feel like now is the time more than ever. Mm -hmm. You know, people need good vibes. And I feel like this is, this is the music for it. And, uh, of course, Trinidad Carnival passed. Um, mm -hmm. So talk to me about that because it was, for a couple of years, it wasn't really happening or well, it was smaller. I don't know what, what was going on. I they think, weren't um, allowing people to come yeah, after because, the pandemic. Because, yeah, the pandemic definitely mm -hmm. shut down for, like, I think two years. I'm not sure. And um, and then, no, it's back It's back and running, you know yeah. what I mean? Everything is everything is back and running, you know. Um, every year is different. But Carnival, like everything else, is evolving. You know, mm -hmm. everybody is... You know, there are new bands, there are new parties, there are new things popping up, there are new artists popping up, you know. So it's evolving as it usually does. Mm -hmm. And it's back on track. This year was, was you know, amazing. We had a lot of people coming in 
and we had a huge show. We do a show called Is We, a yeah. festival where you know we feature not just ourselves, but we feature the landscape of talent across mm-hmm. Trinidad, both soca, not soca, you know, <laughs> all of it. So it was it was great. I think um, next year is going to be you know as well back on track, same vibes. Yeah, yeah I saw a lot of women out there having their girls trips and everything. Yeah. So you didn't reach you didn't I reach Trinidad I'm a, yet? Actually, I'm gonna be at St. Thomas Carnival. I know you're gonna be there, right? So, I, that's nice, but St. Thomas is not Trinidad. I'm not gonna right? lie, I, wasn't pre- <laughs> I wasn't prepared this year. I hear that. No, I hear that. Early in the year, I gotta be. I gotta start getting ready for that now. You got you gotta set your mind <laughs> to more than anything else. But you, you 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 should come for real. It's a nice vibe. Is a That's the carnival that everybody says you need to be at. Like is, when it comes to all of them, I, I feel like when you think of carnival, you think Trinidad. Definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. It is I mean, after Big Up Brazil too, they they do their own form of carnival. But I think I think our form of carnival is a blueprint, you know, for the world of carnivals. <laughs> yes, man, big up my country. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm not mad at it. I <laughs> and I know that like you have to because a lot of my friends are, are Trini. Mm-hmm. And so we all are planning to go together. But shout out to my girl Melissa. She just had a baby. Yeah. So she's like, next year though, we she's outside. Ready. I, I feel like I need to go with some people that I agree. are from Trinidad yeah. so that I could make sure I get the experience the way yeah, that I need to. For sure. But well, I started off at St. Thomas. I'ma come. And uh, come Definitely. out to that and see you. Definitely. And let's talk about the Is We Festival that yeah. you started. So mm-hmm. talk to me about how that even um, started and where the progression is going. Um, well, for me, I just wanted to... I, I grew up in Trinidad doing all types of music. You know, before Soka, I was doing a bit of rock and a different different genres. And mm-hmm. there are a lot, lot of little pockets of scenes, you know, a lot of artists who probably don't get the platforms to... If you're not doing Soka or Dancehall, you're not really going to get a lot of platforms, you know. Mm-hmm. And they do great music. You know, and I felt like during carnival, all a lot of the energy is on on the music. A lot of the eyes from the world come in. Mm-hmm. I said I wanted to create a create a space where we could have have showcase all of it. You know, you can come and get the things that you love, but you learn some new things. You know, so with the festival, it's it's everything. It's like it's from food and mm-hmm. and who we are as, as in that aspect, and of course performances. You know, the veterans, the new ones coming up. You know. And we really wanted to create that space, and it's been growing in such a in such a great organic way. Yeah. Um. And this year was 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 flawless. It was a great time. You know? See, we like to hear that flawless. Mm-hmm. Flawless. <laughs> yes. You know the other thing, um, and I just want to commend you for this. Your live sessions. I nice. saw one just drop right before. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was dro- like, oh, yeah. Up. He just put out another live session. <laughs> <laughs> they drop in there. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. that's really dope. I think people need to see that. Definitely. Like, to see the live performances. Because sure. that is what I think, um, you know, I saw you perform at the NBA uh, halftime show, yeah, too. Yeah. Like, just so many things that I feel like haven't been done before. This is it. And I think I think this is the time. And I was just uh, speaking about live, you know, big up to the entire band, mm-hmm. you know, my entire family. Yeah. You know, we're a family band. Literally. And, yeah. yeah, you know. <laughs> Literally your family. <laughs> so we did start off in that live instrument instrumentation. And I think that's a big part of experiencing our music, you know, mm-hmm. just really catching that live show. And um, so I enjoy that. I enjoy moving with my, my family. You know, it's 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 a it's a great thing. You know, so even during the pandemic, and I know we talked about this, but for you guys to just like perform yeah. live, it made people feel so good. Yeah, you know, that was that. that was my own also my own mental. You mm-hmm. know, in a sense, you know, doing something together again, and it was it was it was a powerful time for us. So I'm real happy that people still listen to it while they're cleaning their house, and you know, whole vibe with it is amazing. Yeah. Do you feel like was there a time when Kess and the band wasn't going to um, maybe keep on doing projects hmm. and create anymore? And then you decided because I know there was like breaks of time in between of putting I mean, out music. Twists and turns, you know, I guess. Mm-hmm. But we were always making. We were always creating. I feel like where we wanted to reside was probably the question. You know, sometimes we would be doing a lot of international stuff and sometimes we would be doing a lot of, you know, Trini yeah caribbean stuff but i think now we've kind of like put it all in one house and in one place you know Mm -hmm. so for me we've we've never stopped i guess creating and evolving you know but it was a matter of like putting out projects where that's it yeah i think that's the things that make sense you know what i mean i'm not just putting out something just to be out there if i'm out there i'm I'm doing it because you know i believe in what we're doing and that they're gonna make a difference you know Mm -hmm. that it has its own lane yeah, and mm-hmm. even just like I said, all the collabs that you've done on here, it's a great vibe to listen to. Uh, there's a little bit of a rock feel to some of it too, like yes. you said, because you were influenced. Yes, definitely. Early on by yeah. that as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shy away from any of the influences. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I feel like now we're in a real special time where you know genres mixing and people listening to everything. 
people just want good music, you know. So if I can make a good song, and maybe the, the chorus <laughs> sounds a little rocky, or you know, there's some Afro beat here and there, and a calypso vibes. Hey, if right. it mix and it's sweet, well. Do you think that people also sometimes they may have expectations, like they think Kes, they think Soka, but there's experimentation, like you said, with all different types of genres Definitely. of music that's on here. Mm -hmm. So do you think about that to people who are like, okay, I listen to Kes all the time, they might have an expectation of what's going to be on uh, Man With No Door? I think um, I think people over the years, especially our contribution in the Soka vein, we've always kind of been different, we've mm -hmm. always been like it's hard to understand where we're gonna come from because <laughs> I guess I just I'm influenced when I am and, and and inspired. So for me, I think people, if you really knew who I was and you followed me, you would know that you know expect the unexpected. You know, expect things that wow, I didn't um, you know, I love that sound or that's something different. So for me, yeah, I play on that. I play on the fact that you may think that okay, cool, Kess is a soca man and he's gonna do this. But when you hear the other sides and the other tracks and stuff, you'll be like, wow, okay, cool. I could understand mm -hmm. the painting, you know, the picture. You know, the other, um, like last year I was in St. Martin and I was in the club and they were playing, um, they were, they said the main thing that was really going up out there was all this um, like Trini dance hall. Trini bad. Yeah, Trini bad. Yes. So where you do know. you see that going? Because it feels like that had like a really nice... Um, you know, yeah, I think I think um, for me, I, I feel it's like again, art is a reflection of mm -hmm. of life, you know. So I feel like the youths, you know, they grew up to dance all. They of course grew up in Trinidad with all those influences, and they see they see things in their life, you know, that they write and they sing about. And you know, when I listen to the flows and the melodies and the vibes, you know, they're amazing. I f I feel like something real has happened. Mm -hmm. I think the evolution of it, we're yet to see and see where it goes to. You know, everything starts off one way and then grows into other things. So I hope it does grow and mature and mm -hmm. get into something else, you know. But for now, I feel like there is its own market. They didn't need airplay. They didn't need anything. Right. I was they in the club. I was like, what's this? Yeah, and it's in yeah. St. Martin playing, you know. So they definitely <laughs> found a way to get there, the vibes out and do it in a real way. So I, I hope it develops mm -hmm. even, even further, but again, evolve into something where they are. You could take different routes now. There's not only one route, right. you know? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of your music is about love and unity and peace and all of that. Like, it feels good yeah. when you listen to it. Bless. And then, <laughs> but again, it, it, it gets like the little bit of edge of nasty, not too much. <laughs> just maybe like a just little. Just right. Yeah. That's <laughs> That's Calypso, though. That's Calypso, yeah. you know. That's 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 what Calypso is. Calypso is a, is a sort of just right almost there, you know what I mean? But it's, it depends on how you take it and right, what, right. Where, where you carry it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I, I love that. That's actually a reflection, I guess, of who I am in some form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I love that. And, and, and thank you how, for that. Yeah, how thank much you does that. your music affect your mood, too? Because I think that the art that you put out there actually can help create, like, who you are. You Definitely. know, as a human being, because people put out like different types of stuff, you know. And For sure, I think I think you really have to watch what you're putting out because what you say is what will happen, you know. And if you're repeating it over and over, it's definitely something that could come into motion. And I I I, feel, I believe that, so mm -hmm. I've, I've tried to put out stuff that, you know, I could like I could lie down in that bed, you know what I mean? Like right. <laughs> I, I could deal with what that is. Um, so yeah, that, that I listen to my own stuff sometimes, you know. Sometimes if I feel in a certain way, I want to hear. Yeah. yeah, or you know, I'll just kind of remember the creative process of you know how this song, mm -hmm. how did this song write? You know what I mean? Like how did what did happen? You know. So. What is Jub Jub? <laughs> Jub Jub is a Caribbean gummy bear. Okay, you know? yeah, I, I know that, but what is it when it's you bouncy. refer? Okay, you know? <laughs> I, I didn't even say anything. Jub Jub and I was like, okay, I know, because um, I asked our board up. He was in here earlier. He's right. Jamaican, right. so he was like, it's like a, it's like a candy, and he showed me the candy. So I'm like, all right, so it's a Jub Jub. What feels like a Jub Jub? Was nice, was nice like a Jub Jub, and sweet like a Jub Jub, and. Bounce like a jump <laughs> jumper. Yeah, I don't even need to say. <laughs> my, my boy is like, yeah, he was like, like, yeah. <laughs> I know what you, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's it. You know, it is flirtatious. And then jump jump was also a part of like growing up. 
Right, like, the candy that you yeah, used to eat. Yeah. Now you eat a different jump jump. Okay. <laughs> jump jump same way. <laughs> <laughs> and how has been uh, traveling globally affected the music that you make also? Because we see it, like I said, there's a lot of great collabs. You didn't overdo it on the collabs, though. I think no, they're very, no. like, intentional. Yes, And definitely. everything was kind of like a different um, vibe. Yes. To, yeah, a different lane for you. Mm -hmm. But traveling internationally and touring other places, what are some things that you've learned? That's that's um, that's always the 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 I guess the the beauty of it, you know, really really having a a no door and a sense of a, of of a, you walk right into different cultures, mm -hmm. you know. When I go to another country, I try to experience the food, the vibe, and you know, walk around and experience the people before I perform, you know, so I could have that energy. So. That's, that affects you, that changes your life sometimes, some of those experiences, you know. So definitely, creatively, it always spills into it, you know. Like, I always remember really exploring Jamaica, you know, for the first time, of course, growing up to Bob Marley and everybody, mm -hmm. you know, all my dancehall kings and queens. But, you know, getting to Jamaica and understanding where it came from and going to the parties and going, and you know, seeing the, 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 the whole setup, mm -hmm. my understanding of, of, of Jamaican music became different and was deeply appreciated in a different way. So, you know, and just like home, discovering deeper roots of Calypso and going into the places and the, and, the, and the people and the spaces, you you really and truly, you just grow and evolve. You have a deeper appreciation of where you're creating from, you mm -hmm. know. So if I say I'm going to do a reggae, you know, I, how I feel in that I'm going to feel it in that way, at least the way that it touched me, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Did you watch the Bob Marley movie? I saw some of it. I couldn't stay for the whole movie, mm -hmm. but I saw I saw enough of it to get the vibe of it. You know what I mean? Right. I love it. I mean, I say that the, this a first story like Bob Marley is so it's so hard it's to so, do a movie. Yeah, it is. I I give kudos to all the uh, <laughs> to all the talent and everybody who put that together. You know is. Everybody's gonna have an opinion. You know what I mean. Everybody's mm -hmm. gonna slice but it. But no matter in their what, it way. did really well. I think it's important that movies like that I'm do so well. Happy. Yeah, I'm because so happy. I saw it broke all, my all kinds of records. Yes. And I think that more movies like that will get done. Exactly, and you know our stories need to be told. You know, so I'm really, really just happy that everything is going the way it's going and people are actually becoming aware of who Bob Marley you know a lot of people some people don't even know who he is you know what I mean that's that true like the younger generation mm -hmm, they may mm -hmm. not even though I feel like Bob Marley is one of the most like known brands definitely globally most definitely you know but people don't know a lot of his story his like, story and where he came from and that's mm -hmm. such that's such an as an important thing you know I feel like the Caribbean people have a lot of stories to, to be told still. Yeah. You know, so I, I'm looking forward to a new age of that, you know, where people rediscover the Caribbean, you know. What would a Kess story be like? Wow. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> they are long. <laughs> That's what it is, long. We've been at it, like, from kids, you know, uh -huh. and, and, and grew up in a very interesting time in Trinidad. Right. You know? You guys are like the musical family, too, like, but that, that's why that's so interesting to me. Definitely, and definitely, and growing up around, you know, encouraging people and, and friends and family and South Trinidad, you know, not even in the town. It's just amazing. It's just, you know, a lot of people don't understand the amount of influence from around the world mm -hmm. we have anywhere we are. If you're on the islands, if you're, if you're not in the States, let's just say, we... We, we 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 hear the world. We get influenced by the entire by the entire thing. Plus what we have, you know. So yeah. all of that is in the story of us growing up, you know. Because I remember it. even when I read about it, like Van Halen was, um, yeah. you were influenced by a rock group, you yes. know, the family early on, Van Halen, and then even Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, definitely, Bohemian Rhapsody. That's an amazing song. Definitely, I love that. And we, we, we performed that and won a competition doing that song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pop rock competition. But yeah, I mean, all of it is beautiful. The, the journey of music is such a real... A real thing, you know. Sometimes music was the only thing that kept us together, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's it's, it's and a even lot of it. It, a lot comes with doing music with your family too. Definitely, you know. You, know, you look a lot over your shoulder dynamics. and you see your family, you know, and that's amazing. <laughs> I give thanks for that for mm -hmm. sure. Well, listen, I know you have so much going on while you're here, selling out shows and doing things like that. But I do appreciate you for coming and yes, stopping by because sure. as soon as they said Kess is in town, I was like, so can we put him on the schedule? It doesn't matter. We got to figure it out. Awesome. So. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. And yo, I'll officially invite you again. Okay. Trinidad, I'm going to gonna get started. And everybody listening, y'all better get started now, too, because you got to make sure you know where you're staying. You got to get your costume ready get starting now. You got to get your costume body ready. <laughs> <laughs> mass, mass, mass is for everybody. Come true. <laughs>
And of course, I will see you at Central Park Summer Stage yes. and at St. Thomas Carnival. So yes, I'm excited yes, for all of that. Definitely. But congratulations on everything. The album, Man With No Door, yes. is out on Friday. So that's going to be a huge one. Make sure y'all watch the live sessions that you've been dropping. Yes. So how many of these are going to drop before that? We're going to be doing more. You know, we have some more of this stuff from the from the album as well, too. So just look out for that, you know? Okay. And Lucky Tiki, I feel like that broke some records, too, right? Wasn't it like the most streamed song of the past year, Soka song? You know what? I don't know those those details, but I know it did really well. We, we, we have like, a remix. Like, and I just make him music, you know? I'll be doing the research because <laughs> I'd be like, a, you know, but I think that's important. Like, we got to make yes. sure that people understand what yeah. Kess is doing. Awesome. And, and awesome. even just for the... You know, for that genre, this is a big deal. For sure, for mm-hmm. sure. And we're definitely going to keep on pushing and, and, and new new places, new tights, everything. And no doors. No doors. <laughs> okay. Nothing. All right. Well, Kes, thank you so much. All right. Bless you. Way up.